This, what you're looking at here, is footage from the PlayStation TV. This is my PlayStation TV, and this is my Avermedia capture card. And it's hooked up to the TV. I'm gonna show you how you guys can actually hook this up from your capture card to the PS Vita TV, so you can capture footage to from your PlayStation TV. Now, before you go on and just straight up plug in your PlayStation TV into your Aver Media capture card, do not do this. Do not do this because there is a thing that Sony made called the HDCP, which stands for High Bandwidth Digital Content Protection, which is hooked up and locked out for PS3s, PS Vita TV, and even PS4. But the PS4 and the difference of that is that with a PS4, you can actually turn it off in your menu settings in your console. But with the PS3 and the PS Vita TV or PlayStation TV, you cannot do that. But I'm gonna show you one tool how you can bypass all that. Now, if you wanna capture footage from your PlayStation Vita TV to your capture card and then to your PC, you're gonna need these steps, or you're gonna need these items, excuse me. You're gonna need your capture card, your Aver, the one I have is my Aver Media capture card. The PlayStation TV, three HDMI cables, and I'll show you how or why, and you're going to need one of these, an HDMI splitter. This one is by ViewHD, you can get it at Amazon.com, link below in the description. So you actually buy one, they roughly cost about 15, 20 bucks, relatively cheap though, but trust me, you're better off getting one of these than another HD splitter. First and foremost, you wanna turn on your PlayStation TV, hook it up, Make sure your controller is synced in and well uh, working. And you want to hook the HDMI cable that came with the system itself, and you want to hook that up into port number one in your HDMI splitter. Now you're gonna hook it up in the first port where the power adapter or the power AC port is right beside itself. Okay. So you want to take that, and then you want to take the second, take a second HDMI cable, hook it up into port number one in the back of the uh, HDMI splitter. You want to make sure that port number one is hooked up to the back of the TV and you want to hook that up to your HDMI input on the back of that TV. And once that's done, you want to take the third and final HDMI cable and hook it up into port number two and you want to hook that up to your capture card into the HDMI in. Do not put it in HDMI out because I had the same problem where I was hooking it up and it showed no signal at all so what I did was I hooked that up into the HDMI in and it actually showed picture so you want to make sure you hook it up to the HDMI in of your Avery Media capture card and once there and done you want to take the power cable that came with your HDMI splitter because it doesn't power because it doesn't power alone by any other uh, means you want to take the HDMI uh, power cord hook it up to your AC outlet anywhere if it's an extension port or even in the back of the uh, wall socket and you should get picture from your TV and your computer now the capture device or excuse me the capture software I've used is a, a software called ReCentral it's the software that I use to download it in order to capture footage for my respected capture card so that's basically it that's basically done and I have my controller as you can see let me go ahead and open this back up as you can see it controls fine however I would recommend using the TV instead of using the computer because there is a like a one probably like a half second or a delay on the uh, TV to the computer, so use the TV. And with that, you can record things like Persona 4 Golden, Sly Cooper Thieves in Time, Uncharted Golden Abyss, if you can somehow get whitelisted on your Vita TV, other games that are compatible with the Vita TV, and once you're done, you're done. Now, there is a tip that I highly recommend using when you want to, um, when in regards of the HDMI splitter, basically. Now, I keep hearing reports that if you keep using the HDMI splitter for far too long, it can easily get all warm for about at least an hour or two. And you would want to, now hear me out, 
it, get, it can get hot and it can burn out for at least a good three, four hours, okay? What I highly recommend is to get a small fan like this. Ignore the dust and shish from uh, the top. I haven't used this fan in a long while because I have an air conditioner. You want to get a fan like this. It doesn't have to be exactly my fan, but you need a small fan like this to cool down your HDMI splitter because the longer you use this without the fan it can easily get hot especially in the summers so you want to keep this cool under the fan so that way the longer you use it and the longer you put this fan over there the more longer lasting it's going to be able to be useful to capture footage for PS Vita games okay and the same goes for the capture card because the capture card the more longer you use it the more it's gonna get warm it can potentially get hot and it could easily probably not easily though but it could potentially burn out so I would recommend putting both the capture card and the HDMI splitter under a fan to keep them both cool so that's basically it on how you can bypass the HDCP on your PS Vita TV and capture footage from your TV to cap or to capture card to Vita TV and then in your PC. I hope you guys like my video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time for the next video.